about. Uh, I know I'm supposed to be home, but unfortunately the weather keeps me, it's keeping me here in Houston. Uh, I told you I had a surprise for you a couple of weeks ago, and my gift to you is in this envelope is the check and the receipt uh, to no more mortgage payments for you. You now own your home. <laughs> Congratulations. My mom was a very emotional person on any given day. There was a lot of gratitude, a lot of tears of just saying like, thank you so much. Like I never thought I'd see the day. About last December, I asked my mom to send me her mortgage statement and I made up a lie. And I think I was like, oh, I want you to compare it to my mortgage statement from my home. But ultimately I wanted to know how much she owed on the home so I can prepare. She sent me this statement. I set a date, I put it in my mind like, hey, I'm gonna have all this money saved by this date. Granted, I had already been saving for it, I just didn't know the exact number. I was planning on going home, but the hurricane came. I would've had to lay over in Atlanta and I didn't wanna get stuck. So I was like, okay, I'm not gonna fly home, I'm just gonna cancel my plans. And I said, well, what else could I do? And I was like, oh, I'll just send a video. I got on the phone with my sister, I was like, hey, I'm gonna record a video, I just need you to play it. This envelope is the check and the receipt. Uh, to no more mortgage payments for you. You now own your own. Congratulations. <laughs> oh. Mom has always been an extremely hard worker. Two jobs, three jobs. Like, it was just a lot of relief for her to just be free, I guess, in a sense of not having that burden anymore. And that's what she expressed to me on the phone of just being uh, very thankful and expressing her gratitude. When I called her, I was like, oh, it's the first. You don't have a payment due. You know, how do you feel? This is your first month of, for 20 years that you don't have to pay your mortgage. You know, how does that feel to you? I think that is such a beautiful thing for her to experience of just being free. But anyone who knows me knows that I am a workaholic. In college, I had two jobs. Post-college, working at Microsoft, I still worked at Delta Airlines as well. I still bartend. As crazy as it sounds, those jobs keep me close to my mom because my mom was a laborer, she was a worker. That's what my mom instilled in me. It's just like, do the work and great things will come. It was just a thank you, a thank you for everything that you've done for me and you continue to do for me and the work ethic you've instilled in me. 